Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mugglover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Equestria War, playing as a Griffonian Empire. Last time we had one heck of a campaign against the River Coalition Federation Republic group over to the east here. Right now, I want to address a comment immediately regarding my infrastructure building and stuff like that, just because I've never thought about it kind of like this. So, usually in the past, I would go ahead and click, I would control, left click on a province I want to build infrastructure. That gives it up to one and puts it at the top of the queue. Then I would immediately press or hold sh just shift and left click, which would make this drop to the very bottom of the line. So, that's what I used to do. But one of the great subs subscribers I have told me that, you know what, just hold shift and control at the same time and then left click. And you get maxed out at the beginning. So, thank you for letting me know. That actually is really, really helpful, so I just have to click both. I usually like doing just one at a time, sh control and shift, but if I do both, now we can do that. Thank you very much for letting me know. Thank you, thank you very much. But, uh, we'll talk about a few more comments as we go on, but let's do another focus. Uh, so the left side's done. We're going to do this, reclaim our colony. Everything the Empire used to control on Griffonia, and more, has been reclaimed after much bloodshed and conflict. However, our task is not yet over. Our colony on Equus, founded by the Emperor Grover I, himself in 783, has become an independent nation that shows little interest in acknowledging our authority. This wayward colony will learn its place by force if, need be, the Empire strikes back. Okay, right now we've got some outdated equipment. It's just ships, though, since we're trying to modernize more of our fleet, even though we're already modernizing it. We can modernize it even more. Medium tanks are looking good. Light tanks are looking great. Medium, uh, modern tanks are looking... Uh, i put you up here first. Because, actually, right now we are... 38,000 pieces of artillery are looking great. There you go. That should help out quite a bit. Now we need more aluminum soap, but that's okay. So right now... We are waiting to go to war with this group down here, the Nit Rajurland. Uh, actually, we can go to war with them right now. Might as well. I do have a lot of people training my main army. I did put them against a Dread League up here, I believe, or... Yeah, they're going to go up there. And I want to go to war with Grencliffe as well. We do have my navy positioned down here as well, so honestly, it shouldn't go that badly. They have up to eight divisions, maybe max. And I'm using my tanks and other people. I have my knights. A good chunk of them, not everyone. A good chunk of them prepared to navally invade as well. So, that would be great. Uh, where are you guys at? Oh, you guys are up here. See, I'm ready to invade them there. We have some more Griffin tech done. Oh, no, we got Griffin architecture. How about we get some magical early warning systems? Actually, intelligence-wise... You know what? I'm tired of having two guys here. I'm taking you out. You are a seducer. And you are good at beating the snot out of enemy operatives. Nova Grafonia. That would be great. Ooh, and next up, ooh, some ships. Oh, we sunk an early cruiser. Good, good for naval XP. We're doing a great job. Even though there's really not that many people around here. And half these guys, a little more than half these guys, are modern tanks. Even though I actually have quite a deficit of modern tanks already. Good. Good, my friends. Great, great. A couple convoys go bye-bye. Convoy goes bye-bye. Great. Go ahead and move shift it around. Everyone here. All you really need is right there, I guess. That'd be good. Great. Uh, leave the tanks up here just to support the cause, if need be. You guys can attach yourselves right here. And someone told me, another comment from yesterday, is that the Dread League has special requirements to attack them. Rosa here is crazy, probably. Between 6 to 11 million manpower, they got quite a few divisions, so I have no idea what these what happens up here, but you have to wait till like 1022 maybe. You know, once uh, our Emperor Grover VI becomes of, of age, and if you hear any pounding in the background, don't worry about it. Uh, cool. 600 political power, what else do we have? Victoria Bluebeak, very cool, very cool. And I kind of want to say we need to prepare for war against Nova Grafonia, but I have no idea. How strong they are. I have absolute zero idea. Actually, are we justifying on these guys? I am. Cool. So we got a cool 70 days. What do we know about the Republic of Nova Grafonia? They're allied with the Penguin peoples. Okay. Which gives us other places to enable Bay. They have... Um, that's a pretty wide range of divisions. Not gonna lie. They have some manpower. You guys have 
more manpower and fewer divisions, which we might invade them first then. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. Apparently, another comment from yesterday was that magical infantry are, you know, pretty good. They have their, you know, their time, their special time, their... What am I trying to say? They have a place. They have a place. And I would like to try them out sometime. Division designer. Marines. Well, I would have to research them first, so. Cool. Ladder shooting. Good. That'll come in handy. Actually, let's see how big of a navy they have. If that's the case, go ahead and keep doing this. You guys, how big of a navy do you have? Well, you got a six to eight heavy cruisers, which means we'll probably easily be able to take you out for the most part against those guys. You guys should do pretty okay, because these guys in Greencliff, they have a battleship. Huh. One to five divisions, we should be able to take them out pretty easily, but of course you never know. Uh, since you guys are here, go ahead and train. Yeah, we're really lacking on some tanks here, which is fun. You guys do that. We've got some resistance coming up. Whatever. Oh, yeah, all this place has a lot of resistance. Even down here has some resistance. But you know what? There's not a lot of resistance around here, which is amazing. I love it. Zero percent down here, huh? Too bad we can't core that, but that's okay. Uh, any other comments? Not really. Not too much. Just got to keep researching stuff, improving ourselves. How many more days until we go to war? Uh, you guys can train me a little bit first. You guys, uh, I'm going to wait to do that first. Right, get me a little bit more naval XP because we're going to need it for more naval doctrines quickly. So, we have a casual 927 factories, only 106, you know, normal naval dockyards. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I like that research speed. Advanced infantry equipment, great. Uh, we want to do that. That's nice. That's very good. Very very good. Any upgrades? I don't think so. Can we improve the stuff that we already have? That heavy ship's going to get done. That heavy ship's going to get done. We're already making more convoys. Great. Let's do 10 out of 10 for now. That'd be good. That'd be very good. Give me one moment. Alright, my apologies about that. Let's go ahead and go to war then. Uh, oh, you guys are still repairing. Maybe that was a bad idea. Uh, guys? Oh, that's good. Repairing? Uh, come on out. Oh, guys. What the heck? Oh, my God. Everyone... Yeah, that was a really bad idea having him do that. Uh, go do that if you can... That was a terrible idea. Why does everyone need a repair now? Holy cow. Oh, we grab some more base and stuff like that. You know what? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Why you need so many repairs? Um, yeah. That's a bit, ex that's a quite a bit extreme. For like two, three days worth of work, you get this injured? Yeah, nah, nah, man. I can't really believe that. Cool. Some of you guys are eventually going to get there. Reclaim our colony, which is good. Let's see. Well, expensive but reliable. Quick and cheap. I want expensive but reliable. We must spare nothing on our armada. Not only does it protect our important trade lanes, but also tells the world of imperial wealth and prestige. Additionally, ensuring our ship builders, builders receive the latest technology and best materials, we will go, which will go a long way towards giving much or each ship a long service time, even if it costs us more in the short term. Yeah, production cost goes up, reliability goes up by five percent. That's not bad. Cool. Three, two, one. Come on. Okay, we got one group going. We got one guy here. Thank God. Whew. And we're trying to enable invade already. Now they can pierce us. Or we, wait, they can pierce us? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I guess we do have armor. The Republic of Nova Grafonia does not bend. The fiendish fools over the in the, the Republic of Nova Grafonia, I'm sorry, I can't speak today, have had the audacity to refuse their rightful reclamation of the colonial soil. Very well. If they do not bend the knee voluntarily, then we shall make them bleed until they do. Well, they're going to bleed until they pretty much are all dead. So, they made a choice, and we shall make Oz. Even though they can pierce us, we do a lot of damage. Cool, everyone. 
Please land. And pretty much get rid of them. Oh, field hospital is good. You're, they're trading places. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, recon. Sure, why not? Ah, oh, very good, very good. You can wait on that. Let's grab some of this. Nice. Couple convoys here and there. You guys are suffering from attrit attrition, or not really, actually. If that's the case, I'm going to send you guys over here as well. Just because I think that'd be very good for us. Uh, there we go. Ah, the knights. The knights of Griffonia. I love them. Bugsmere. And we already have our war goal against you know who. Nova Griffonia. Great. Alright, so Coast Guards. Oh, I already put them on there. Nice. Very good. Uh, we'll do that too. Oh, could you could you please do that? Sorry, my bad, thank you. Alright, so we got a lot of guys here. That's uh, that's a few too many for my liking, so I'm gonna pull you guys off here. There you go. Now you guys reorganize yourselves, because now we can see how many divisions I have. It appears to be quite a bit. Quite a few divisions. Defensive-wise, we should be able to hold out, but we'll see what happens. Oh, you're... Oh. Well, you know what? Screw it. You're coming back over here, then. For now. I might pull these guys off the line. Depends on what the Dread League does. Just because we're going to build up one of these armies as well. Oh, and I need you guys down here, too. So, we're going to figure out a naval invasion path to take with these guys. So they're allied with the penguins, which is actually a good thing for us. Because I'm probably going to have to invade, like, here. Like, these islands up here somewhere. Do they have a, oh, they do have a port. If I can take that port, which is honestly probably in the... Eh, level 4 infrastructure is better than what I thought they had. Good. Obviously, we're going to do this. Uh, actually, you know what? You guys come here. If anything, let us build up a couple of naval ports. Naval bases. That'll be good. That'll be good. And one on the mainland as well. Just because... Okay, maybe two. You never know where the ship's going to need to repair. So if we can build that up, that'd be awesome. Alright, so we got a lot of radar around here, which is going to come in very, very handy. So the entire continent is almost ours. And we have almost complete radar supremacy. Awesome. Oh, actually. Good. So I do want the knights to lead. Because they're not too bad navally invading, I believe. Well, it could be better, probably. But you know what? A lot of things could be better. Yeah, amphibious. 116.2% attack. Not bad. So... You guys don't need to do that. Okay, so if we're going to invade, we're going to have to kill off the ships first. And then I'm going to invade all the way over there, which is a bad idea, probably. Whatever. You guys come all the way over here. I might lose these guys on the way over. Now, if they can get that port, just the port itself, that'd be awesome. Uh, if I could take this, just this middle tiles... Oh, that's pretty dangerous, not gonna lie. That's pretty darn dangerous. I don't see a lot of naval ports. Yeah, I really don't. I mean, we can... Tr okay, hold on. Hold the phone. Where are the naval ports? You have one. You literally have one. Two. Is that it? Is that seriously it? That's pretty bad. Yeah, you literally have two. You guys have a port right there. Well, we'll see where we end up. So we'll probably need, yeah, this one, two, three tiles, or three sea tiles we have to invade through and use our ships. Honestly, we could probably just go to war with them now, just so that we, oh, maybe do that, so that we can just, oh, we're not going to have enough ability to do that. Get time, I'm trying to speak, I can't speak today for some reason. Have enough time to... Kill their ships off. But I don't think our ships are... Oh, uh, they're actually already over here. That's not bad. Uh, but that's not great. Expensive, but reliable. Dockyard expansion share. 
Oh my god, yes. That'd be great. Restore the Imperial... Oh, yeah, yeah. Restore the Imperial Admiralty. With our fleet operating in, on the high seas again, the time has come to restore the Admiralty. In the same function it served, old generations shall work together with new and upcoming young officers on conceiving the perfect strategy for our naval affairs in every aspect of it. Naval doctrine research speed. Great. Anything else up here? Yeah, guns. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, mechanized equipment, too. Ozlots. I'm going to stack 15 of these bad boys. Go ahead and put some down. Put some down? We don't put people down yet. We'll put the griffins down, the evil griffins, eventually. Oh, we can establish... Wait, what does that mean? Imperial mandates? The mandate? What does this mean? Ooh, I don't know if I want to do this. Do I want to do this? Flusalan? I just kind of like owning everyone. Should I own everyone or should I not own everyone? Grenkleif? Is that like the title something? No? You know what? Let me know in the comments below. What do these two things mean? Flusha, Fluslan. Uh, yeah. I don't want to do it now just because we're quite literally in the middle of a campaign. Or in an episode, really. In, the, in an episode, but you know what? That's okay. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go to war immediately. And, uh, maybe I should have sent you guys out earlier. Whoops. That's okay. Uh, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to have to protect this, this, this. That's not enough ships. That's okay. Good, the penguins are in. That's good. Well, it's kind of weird. Oh, look at that. And they have a lot of planes, which is a little concerning for us. And they're navally invading me. Somewhere. Oh. You know what, if that's the case, we got five. Come down here, too. Yeah, it's going to be a big old naval war. I mean, the main goal is to kill their enemy ships. They lost... Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of guys. How many do we... Oh, we haven't lost anyone yet. Skyrim. We played it once or twice. Maybe once. I guess I wasn't ready to do this. I'm still really not used to using too much air support because of old world blues doesn't really use it. Oh wait, I'm so used to doing that now too. Oh goodness. Early bombers. Oh buddy boy, we're going to lose a couple ships here and there. I can already tell. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, we lost a destroyer. Oh, there's a, their fleet. We lost one destroyer. Get those battle cruisers in. We sunk some of the... Oh, we're sinking some ships. You know, if they take that island, you know what? So be it. Plus one. Pride of the fleet. Pride of the... Well, their, their navy's sinking. Their neighbor, navy's a bit stinking. We sunk three of those guys. Cool. And they've landed. Even if they take this, you know, tile, it really means nothing. How many Coast Guards do we really actually need? 94? Oh. Well then. I mean, so far in this war, we've lost 800 versus... Oh my god, 72,000. Now that's nice. I hope you guys can hold out, but you probably can't. Yeah, we're going to lose this island. That sucks. But, you know what? That's okay. We can sink the convoys then. And keep an eye on... We only have 10. Oh, huh. I thought we had more. Cool. Very cool. Good. Everyone does that. And... You guys come down here. There you go. Very nice. Could you... Oh, we already lost that. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's really not good if they own that now. Hmm. If that's a case, naval stuff... We're not really using subs, but we can do that. That's fine. Any other things? How's their navy doing? That's not bad. Well, they have four ships left. Penguins, you have tons of destroyers, so they're pretty much dead. Beautiful. Uh, that's why I... To be honest, I really love... I really, really enjoy the naval warfare aspect of Boy 4. I know a lot of people don't, especially ever since Manly Guns, but... I do. I really do. Because you can just shred enemies because AI doesn't know what it's doing. Recon Company 2. Grab 3. Knights. Good. You guys. Stop doing that because you might be prepared to move. Alright, my knights. Oh, we're trying to get... Oh, that was really fast. We already tried to invade better. That's good. No, we're trying, but we're not going to win. How many guys do they have there? Four. 
so much. Mm. There you go. Any upgrades? Making some mechanized equipment. Great. Oh, we might win here. Awesome. Maybe. All right, we're gonna grab this guy real quick. Oh, not you. Someone else. Oh, you guys stop training. Let you guys hold. Build up the port. Oh, I'm so used to not doing it correctly. It's a curse, I swear. Okay. Now, I could expand, but I'm just really waiting for these guys to show up. And they'll show up very quickly, which is awesome. Oh boy. See, now they're trying to attack. Now it's gonna be. Ooh, that's not good. It's gonna be bad for supply, I already know. My supply is magnificent over here, which it, which it isn't. Convoy? Oh boy. Oh, did you guys. Oh, you guys didn't succeed over there. That's okay. Convoy sailing? Cool, cool. Alright, so at least we won down here. Could you win? At least expand this area just a little bit, maybe? Yes, yes, you could. You restore the Imperial Admiralty. Future naval warfare, base strike, fleet and being. I'm doing fleet and being, so our older admirals assure us that our naval thought doesn't require drastic changes. Now, new inventions and tactics are more than welcome to support our core battleships, which will strike fear in the hearts of our foe once the barrage commences. It would be wise to address the submarine threat, however. Okay, we got more knights here. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this is a bad idea. They're going to kill my divisions off if they keep attacking. They're employing the same strategy I used against them, where if they keep attacking me... My divisions will die. Oh god, I'm gonna lose so oh I just lost them all. So that was a bad idea. Hmm. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Uh I just lost all those guys. Yeah. That's really bad. There. So I wasn't planning on that, but you know what? We all take losses. I'm sorry. I'm gonna strike down here, and I'm gonna strike really harshly down here then. They killed off that many people. And now it's a great victory for them. But for us... Ooh, they pissed off the wrong people. They should have submitted. Now we're going to, have to do bad things. And it's a good thing that we're going to win this war because some people might call it war crimes. But I call it justice. Okay, get down there, plan, plan, plan. Which means we actually don't need to be up here then. So be it. We're going to be over here. Good. Now they're going to be hitting our ships quite a bit. Hopefully we can repair them fast enough, though. Oh yeah, they really don't like my ships. I am destroying whatever ship planes I have, though. I mean, our guys are going to hit pretty darn hard, though, which is not nice. Really not ideal. Oh, we're going to be causing a lot of pain. Oh my goodness, yes we are. Alright, so you guys should be down here. But really? Actually, no. I want the tanks. I have to have the tanks do this. Stop training. Go. Because as soon as we land, I'm throwing tanks in, and I'm just going to move about. Now, supply is really bad there. Really bad. But that's why I sent you guys here. You know what? You're just going to go around. You're going to help attack. And you're going to come around like that. And you know what? You're going to come up that way, too. Support the attack. Good. Get the tanks in there immediately. Alright. All of you guys get in there too. Rapid expanse. Rapid, rapid, rapid expanse. And I don't want to forget this. At the same time, at the same time, I right, finally remembered. Expand it out. Expand it out. Immediately get in there, get in there, get in there, everyone. Do not... They're going to rush us, so we got to rush them back. Ace pilot promoted. Good. Oh, we're getting the tanks in there. Come on, move, 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 move. That's going to kill supply kind of badly, but whatever. Recon. Good. I should get some engineers, too. we got to expand out to give enough time to get enough support. And we got another port. Love it. Broken Skull. Yes. First D-Day did not go great. Whatever. 
Now we can stop trying to kill these guys off as best as possible. Trust in the old naval strategy? Yes. New cruisers. Eh. Okay, we can rebuild the marine infantry. Our roster is missing Griffin's trained in amphibious warfare. Such a force existed back in the day, but it was disbanded after we lost control to sea access. With the Empire on the rise again, inevitably, we'll find ourselves in a situation where Marines will prove to be a decisive factor in victory. Yes. Quite. So, you know what? Uh, I did not click that. I clicked on my tanks, please. Thank you very much. You saw nothing. You saw nothing, my friend. This colony. Uh, what a shame. So much potential. Bombers. Yeah, you're going to lose all your planes, son. Reorganize yourselves and get one extremely strong defensive line. Oh, you can try to attack me, man. You can try your best. But you ain't going to win here. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Elias, good. You know what? Recovery rate. Recover faster. My supply sucks around here, which really is not bueno. Come on, build ports. Build, 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 build. We lost too many griffins to these bastards. Oh, they're paying. They're paying the price, and that's a good thing. That's a great thing to see. Good, we got some infantry in there. Grab some more infantry. Throw them in the mix. Oh, we're retreating a little bit here and there. I'm going to build also a ring of forts. Fort line. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Do not lose this port. You just do not lose the port. Stay put. Unbreakable materials. Great. Ah, oh, we're done with that. Great. Oh, we can do more air navy. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta do this. Secret munitions. That's that's really good for us. Infantry division. I'm gonna move you up a little bit. There we go. And that's Equestria. We need to be looking in this direction. They've lost almost half a million. Good. They deserve it. What are you doing attacking me right there? Get out of here. Alright, so how's the infrastructure? I know I'm throwing in more divisions, which is Probably not a great idea, but whatever. Get some radar. Tanks. Uh, we're covering the line pretty okay-ish. Ooh. Submarine operations, cool. Grab some of that, too. They've okay, suffered over 600,000 casualties so far. So be it. So be it. Look at all these ports. Oh, they're trying to... They really want to push us out. Ah, uh, but they're dying. They are dying like crazy. I'm so sorry, my knights. I'm so sorry. They can't keep this up. They got a lot of divisions. They got no... Well, they got a little bit of manpower. But as soon as they have it, it goes bye-bye. Mmm, I love it. Now, I'm going to wait to build these ports up a little bit more. They're still attacking me. And even though we're suffering a little bit of attrition here and there, it's really not that bad. Look at all these forts I've made. Oh, yeah, look at this ring of forts. You'll never be able to push us out. I love construction. Yeah, marine infantry. Wow, how are we already 28 minutes into this video? I have no idea. So, a natural progression on the destroyer, cruisers. Of both light and heavy variants shall serve as a stopgap before we can develop the largest ships. Cruisers, however, are both quick and hard-hitting, presenting an acceptable substitute for battleships, especially if a captain's skill is considered. Absolutely. Good. Come on, guys, why'd you stop? Why just stop? Cool. We probably need this group. Eh, we can probably get rid of that. I want to keep building up these uh, ports as well. That's going to be incredibly important. Because I'm going to throw everyone in here too. Supply is going to be so bad, probably. That's why I'm going to have all these guys on the front line. Okay, it is 10 19. Why'd you stop attacking? You only lost 900,000. You made me lose over 400,000. Look at the sins that you've brought on to the Griffin kind. Absolutely terrible. A waste of life. Now it's going to be a little problematic, but that's okay. Reorder ourselves a little bit. We have enough people defending the line where it'll be okay. And then we're going to hit them hard. Oh, what are you guys doing? You still moving around? Fighters. Mm 
you guys come here. And then split you guys up in two. Come here, Duel. Crystal Empires. Oh. Ciphers. Oh, look at all this. Oh, they're so colorful. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they're going to remain or they'll be alive in the next couple days, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so Nova Grafonia. Oh, we still got to wait on those guys. You can do that. That's fine. Are we poised to go? Are we poised for victory? Are we ready to have a good time? Well, they have no manpower. They have more divisions over here than us. But we always have a core area that we can defend and come back to. On the shell, we can't really push through here just yet. We're really in some other locations over here, over here, but in the south and the very far north, we can do pretty darn well. Now, this isn't good for manpower, but at this point in the game, I don't really care. Uh, we can always conscript more people. And I should have got better engineers, too. Mm, mm, mm. defense. Region wide, good. I wish I get some anti tank. Oh, we started. Oh, we have the Fall of Veta. We can restore the ruins, surely. Actually, you know, I'm going to pull you off. I'm so sorry that I lost that many griffins. Oh, look at this. Nice. Uh, super heavy battleship. Looking pretty good. Why not? And let's throw in a light cruiser as well. Nice. Good stuff. Ah, losses. Good, good, good. I mean, we're going to be over close to at least half a million. They lost one and a half. The penguins should have known what was going to come to them if they fought against me. They should have known. Should have realized their fate. You guys are going to get down there eventually. That's going to take a while. New cruisers. Awesome. The Dockyard Expansion Scheme. Archon Aeros VII has made it abundantly clear that the current amount of dockyards, shipwrights, and other naval-related industries is insufficient for the national quotas. Thus, a two-year program focused on naval expansion will be written and funded by the state. Ah, oh, I need more factories. We only have a thousand some. Nice. Screen attack. Convoy rating. Yes. 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 I love it. Press sister ship? Sure. Oh, wait. We banned traditionalism. Well, oh, don't. Traditionalism. Oh, we didn't even need it. Says, oh, okay. Uh, we didn't even need it, really need it, but that's okay. Uh, you guys are doing okay. I'd rather have you guys all move up right now, but whatever. Let's get some experiment, experimental rockets. Now, I could grab some of these guys. Now, I'm not the first one to do this type of thing. You know, I'm going to put you on. You could probably do that. And that, and that. Um, it really doesn't matter to me where I put you guys. It's probably always going to be used for the most part. Uh, I'd love to nuke Frost Hill. I think that'd just be the, the appropriate thing to do. Convoy kind of escorts, cool. Carrier sub stuff, awesome. Cool. If you can encircle them, that'd be great. Oh yeah, that's nice. A pause in Regency. Soon you won't read in Egypt. Regent. If you want to read this, go right ahead. So, a week later, a miracle occurred, and Eros woke up from his coma. He almost jumped out of his bed, fearing that the Empire had collapsed in his absence, only to discover that the Grover had made him proud. Now he knew for sure that the Empire, or the Emperor, was ready to rule. Good. Oh. Eros is having problems. Ah, Archon. Good. And are we over here? We still can't nuke places. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Oh. Hmm. I mean, they're out of divisions now. They have up to 39, maybe? No, don't die yet. I want to kill you! That's not... That's not enough dead. That's definitely not enough dead for the, what you did to me. What you did to us, to our community. Oh, I'm going to do bad things to them now. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Cool, though. So, surprise, Stalingrad hasn't really done much in this campaign yet. And we've already made it all the way over here, which is awesome. Uh, cool. You guys are doing all right. You guys are doing all right. Light tanks. Undersea blockade. I'll also do that one as well, so we got some bonuses there. 
cryptology. Good, good. Let's go back to that. That's good. We're gonna need to do these as well. So faction map mode. That's a big alliance. That's a really, really big alliance. Stallion Grad, how big are you looking right now? Pretty big and thick, huh? That's a lot of divisions. That's a polar bear communities. Something tells me that they might not exist for a long time. For a while. Good. Awesome. Now we got a little bit of time before we go to war with the polar bear communities. Now the world of the Equestria is going to be probably pretty bad, to be honest with you. Probably pretty darn bad. Good. Uh, you guys can probably stop this. Yeah, even though we're pretty close to finishing this stuff up, it, we won't need it. We already have so much land there. It's, it's alright. Except I want this. Good. Questions the sovereignty of those peoples. Good. Now, I wonder, is this going to be enough to take these guys out? Oh, engineer companies too? Grab some air bases too. And as well down here. We're going to grab level. This level? Expand the trade fleet. So, trade is the lifeblood of, of any nation, for not only does it keep us supplied and material when we are lacking, but also allows us to keep our citizens content with am amenities from all over the world. It would only be practical to expand our trade fleet. To open up new trade lanes and should be required, allow a naval assault. So you guys are not needed down here for now, but you will be needed right here. The Frozen North. Dark and treacherous place, but it's a good fight. Good. Gerhard, do you have any upgrades? Oh yeah, Lancer. Uh, that's okay for de destroyers. Oh, big gun. Oh yeah. Chance to see critical hit. I like all these. Crisis magician. Effects of sustained. Mar Chances. I gotta go. With, I gotta go with marksman. Chances to secure or score a critical hit and more capital ship attack and chance to see that. I mean that's pretty awesome. Crisis magician. I would love that, but mm, that's some good stuff. You guys should be able to do pretty well by yourselves. But I've been wrong before. You guys go ahead and do this. That'll be great. Yes, please. Ah, oh, another tank division. Great. Actually, how many modern tanks do we have? We have plenty in reserve. Take half, you guys. Great. Now, these guys might put up quite the fight. And I'll probably end the episode after we go... Oh, hello. Paul Wellington. Polar Bear Temper. Boarding parties, yes, yes, yes. Magical naval CNC. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. Please, please. And we do want to go to war with Stallion Grad, so we'll have one extreme war between us and them eventually. That takes too long. So, oh, nice. Very good. Delightful. Casually having 41 nukes. Well. It's never enough. Never enough nukes. Cool. Expand the trade fleet. Convoy escort. So, the humble destroyer is not the most hard-hitting or durable of ships, but it can be easily mass-produced and modified to suit any given role. From laying mines to hunting subs, their strength shall be in numbers, for they also serve as a capable escort for our trade convoys as well, if we believe in that. See, we kill our enemies so hard that we don't need to escort things. Good. And if you're hearing some extra noise in the background, well, just be aware that I know about it too. Good. We have quite the capable Air Force here now. But that's not enough. To have a really good Air Force, you're going to need some tactical bombers. We only have 26,000, 25,000 in reserve. Only that many. Uh, I might want to do that too. Leave that. I don't see what happens. Cool. Let time go on. And as soon as I let time go on, we got to do this. Escort carriers. Cool. Let's do that one. And now we have better engineers, and we'll get even better engineers. 
Casually having 10,000 convoys is not enough. We can do that some more. We still only get 1.87 a day. Yeah, I still don't know what that does, which I'll figure out what that does soon. You guys, I love those guys. That's great. Go to war with the polar bear community. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It's probably not going to go... Okay, it went really well so far. Um, well, I can't see this. Convoy interdiction. Cool. Let's go ahead and do that. That's fine. Uh, don't want to forget about this either. Oh man, we got some people really don't li not liking this here. Stalingrad, you're next. Uh, if you need to, go ahead and train. You guys are looking amazing here. Really good infantry, actually. You're imperial reservists. You guys are already maxed out. That's cool. Let you guys do what you need to do. As you guys are moving up and in. Oh, that is really bad. Come on, keep taking more stuff so we can build up more infrastructure. Yeah, we'll, probably, well, we'll actually need that pretty soon. Pretty much everything here we're going to need pretty soon. Convoy escorts. An undersea blockade. War is fought with weapons, but it is primarily fought with resources. Whoever ends up first with shortages faces a downward spiral towards defeat. Thus, to extend this on this idea, our submarine fleet will undergo modernization to ensure that they always remain a threat, no matter what counter they can think of. Better rocket engines. Let's go ahead and grab some jet engines, too. Nice. Very good. Oh, and just gonna grab everything here. So we're gonna end today's episode, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. Today was quite interesting, not gonna lie. I lost so many men. So many knights. But in the end, it was all worth it because we're gonna make it out okay. Uh I have made so many guns that now the counter has flipped over. If you like today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new, check my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when I hopefully have this pesky little infantry equipment issue solved. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.